Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can sell digital products on Kajabi. If you do not yet have a Kajabi account and you would like to sign up to follow along, I will leave my partner link in the description of this video and with this link you can sign up for a 30 day free trial as opposed to the 14 day free trial that you will get if you just go to the Kajabi website. Now, with that being said, once you have your Kajabi account, this is the dashboard right here. So to go ahead and actually sell a digital product, the first thing that we need to do is actually create our product on Kajabi. So to do this, all we are going to do is go over to this left hand side panel and open up the product section right here. Under the product section, we have things like courses, coaching, community, podcasts, newsletters, and downloads. So whichever type of product that you want to create and sell on Kajabi, you just select it right here. So as an example, I'm going to go in here and create a course. And no matter which one you select, it's then going to walk us through step by step and show us all of the information that we need to input in order to create this product. So in here, we can just click on get started. We can go through and add a title. So I'm just going to say YouTube secrets course, just like that. We can then go in and add a description. And essentially you just want to go through and enter in all of the information that it asks for. So once we have added that, we can go to the next step. In here, we can choose the price for our product. So we can choose if this is paid or if this is free. So I'm going to set the price of this course to $499. We can then choose the payment methods that we accept. And then once the price has been entered, we can click on next. Just like this, this is now going to go ahead and actually load the course in right here. And then once your digital product has been created, we will be taken through to this area where we can now go ahead and start filling out the content. So we can click on add content right here, choose whether we want to add a lesson, a quiz, any of these other options. But this is going to be different depending on which product you actually go with. But essentially we just go through, we create the product right here, add the content, and now that is created on the back end. From here, we then want to go into the offers area, just like this. And this is where we can set up the sales page where we will actually sell our digital product. So with this one, I can click in to my current offer right here and we can now customize the sales page and how this is going to be sold. So we can go down here and we can add a description for this course. Now, a tool that I love to use to help me create this description is this free AI tool called ChatGPT. I will leave a link to ChatGPT in the description. And once you have created your account, all we have to do is tell it to write us a product description for whatever our product is. We can enter that in right there and it's then going to go ahead and create this full product description for us. So all we have to do is go in and copy this and then we can come back over to the description and paste that in right there. Once we have this description added, we then want to go back up to the top right here and click into edit checkout. In the edit checkout area, this is where we can customize the checkout page. So when people go to buy the course, this is what they are going to see. So what I recommend doing is just going into this text right here and clicking on edit. And then we want to remove the current text that is there and paste in the product description for our product. From here, we can then click on save. And already, this is going to make this look a lot better, right? Another thing that you might want to do is if we just scroll down, it's a very good idea to add a video into here. And that way people aren't just going to read through, but they can actually see a video of what they are getting in this course. So just record a video explaining what the course is, what people will learn, the desired outcome. And then all we have to do is go over here and add this video. So as an example, I'm just going to take one of my YouTube videos right here and we can drop this in. So just like that, this video is now added in. And then the last thing that we can add right here at the bottom is going to be testimonials. So if we want to click on add a testimonial right here, if you have any testimonials, we can just type these in. We can add a profile photo right here and then add this right here. And if we add all of these things in, this is how the page is now going to look. So once you have created the checkout page, 
we can go up here and click on save. And once that is saved, we can click right here on preview. And this is now going to show us what your customers will see when we send them over to this sales page. So let's click back into the editor and we can now go to offers and we now have the course and the sales page created. So what you could do at this point, if you wanted to, is we could just go to the product that you created, grab the link, and then you can share this link online. People can go straight to the sales page, buy your course, and that's how you can sell digital products. Alternatively though, you might want to add an email capture page so that people who are interested, but don't necessarily buy the first time, you also capture their email so that you can follow up with email marketing. To do this, all we are going to do is open up the website tab here on the left hand side and click into landing pages. And in here, we can create a new landing page. So we click into this and we can go down and choose from one of these templates right here. So you could even create like a link in bio for your social media page. But what I recommend doing is going for this lead generation page wizard. So we click into this and then it's going to show us step by step everything that we need to do in order to set this up. So the first thing is just to add the logo right here. So I can go in and add my company logo. We can then go down and choose the button color. So let's just say I want to set this to red because it's a YouTube course. We can choose the background color, which I will set to white. The font color, customize all of this. Then we go to continue right here and we can write the content for this page. Now, I actually really like this. Like I don't see the point in changing this page too much because it's super simple and effective. You're one step away from exclusive content. There's really no need to change this. If you do want to, you can go into the headline and the, it's called supporting copy. This is more of a subheader. You can enter that in and then click on continue. You can also add your social media links right here by entering the username or the URL. And then we just want to click on finish. Now this is very important. We need to wait until the theme is fully installed. So we give this a few seconds right here. And once this has loaded in, what we are now going to do is click into the page that we just created. Once the page loads up, this is already optimized, so we don't need to make any changes to the actual content. But all we are going to do is go to this sign up button right here. And for the thank you page, we want to change this from go to a URL to go to a checkout page. Then for the checkout page, we select our digital product that we just created. And then we can click on save. So now we have all of this set up. What we can now do is send people to a landing page, capture their email, and then even if they don't buy our digital product, we can still follow up with email marketing. So now we want to take the URL for this sign up page, and this is the one we want to share online. So let's imagine that somebody is on my Instagram. They click through to my page right here, and this is the page they get. So they would then go in and enter their name and email and click on sign up. And just like that, they are now taken through and I collected their email when they signed up. So that is how you can sell digital products on Kajabi. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.